KSBW Action News 8 at 6. With Dan Green, Aaron Clark, Dennis Lennon Sports, and Weather Watch 8 with Jim Vanderswan. Now, Action News 8 continues. Giant cows in Santa Cruz. So, Calabunga takes on a whole new meaning today. <laughs> For the record, I did not write that. <laughs> These giant oversized cows are turning quite a few heads. They're over at the old Saul's Tannery. All right, we're going to find out what this is all about. Action News reporter Phil Gomez joins us now live from Santa Cruz. So tell us who's behind it and what the cows mean. Giant cows being built. Supporters hope to make them the hallmark for a new $43 million arts com campus at the former Saul's Tannery. Just off one of the busiest roadways in Santa Cruz, motorists are doing a double take at these giant cows peering over the fence. Or are they grazing? That's the biggest challenge is fighting the wind when you get this paper mache. Kirby Scudder let the cows out. He's co-founder of Santa Cruz Institute of Contemporary Arts. He's not suffering from a case of mad cow disease. He's just an artist who steered to create 12 humongous cows. I never really spent this much time looking at cows, but I uh, walk around with pictures of cows, and I'm just trying to figure out what would a normal herd look like out here? How would they be posed? So far, six cows are either complete or under construction. They're made with two-by-fours, chicken wire, and, of course, lots of glue. 60 gallons of it so far. We're using thousands of sheets of newspaper. The ones hanging over the fence are dark. You like that? <laughs> yeah. Tourists from as far as England have stopped to stare at the cows. These folks from Florida stopped to chew the fat with Scudder. They were so cute, we decided we wanted our picture taken with them. <laughs> <laughs> it's really exciting to come see them. I can hardly wait till they get 12 of them done, because it's going to be really something else. These cows won't be put out to pasture. Instead, they'll be put on display as part of an utterly moving art exhibit. You can sponsor the cows for as little as $20 and as much as 5000 bucks. Some are already sponsored and have names, like this one named after former Mayor Emily Riley. The cows are weatherproof and, we're told, are fire resistant. I'm looking to get it done before the rainy season, and one never really knows in Santa Cruz, but that's why I'm shooting for the end of November. It's a pretty safe bet that I'll be okay up until that point. Scudder will be out there again this weekend. Sunday, they usually throw a barbecue from 1 to 7. A couple of the cows will be brought downtown next week. One at the Catalyst, another out front of Logos to help pay the hospital bills for Sally Clark. Certainly attracted a lot of attention, that's yeah. for sure. All right, Phil, thank you. Again, the project is called Cow House, which is actually a play on words. One of Germany's most famous and avant-garde art and design schools went by that name. They're hoping to open this thing in 2008, and so far they have raised about $2,500 to pay for the big cows that grace what they hope will become known as Surf and Turf City. Surf and Turf. Oh, well, they're, they're happy. Surf City, hey, now Surf yeah, and Turf City. 